I don't know if anything does come after capitalism. And, and my, my hope for capitalism and my hope for uh, economic structures is that we start to see something akin to the sort of democratic socialism that Bernie Sanders talks about, that people look at, where we look to, some people look to Europe and say, oh, well, there's this system that can work. Pure socialism is problematic in a number of ways, but I think pure capitalism is problematic. I think in this country, we do have a mixed economy already. So it's not such a leap, but we have a myth that we have a free market capitalist economy, which has never existed really in the history of the United States or probably anywhere. I think what we're going to see is a, a more regulated capitalism or collapse. And that's really what I, I think we're headed for some dire questions um, to face and maybe some dire realities. I've long talked about capitalism with a soul. Um, I don't think that capitalism, you know, we define pure capitalism when we talk about bottom line, we talk about greed, right, and, and you know, rapacious greed and people being abused because of that. Well, we also know that in history there have been companies, and we have some now, that treat their employees very well, that give them a living wage, that respect their needs as uh, human beings and want them to work for that. And, and I lo I've read about Costco, for instance, which apparently has a very kind of progressive um, attitude toward its employees and it's kind of the anti-Walmart. So I think that there's room for, I don't know that this is what will happen, but I think there's room for that capitalism of the soul to become uh, a force if we allow it to.